I so love New Hampshire and I love Puerto Rico. Tuesday morning, that love was on display in the form of non-perishable food donations being collected by state employees. We set up four-hour shifts for all the employees. We have about 150 employees rotating through over two days. One of those employees, Yvette Toledo, still has a lot of family on Puerto Rico. She calls this effort heartwarming. My one family, New Hampshire, helping the other one. And it really touches my heart. Okay, thank you. God bless you guys. John you. Feliciano also has relatives on the island. He says his relatives say the situation is dire. They were running out of food, you know, and, uh, and that was heartbreaking. You know, it's just tough to see that. The food drive runs today and tomorrow on the state house lawn from 7 in the morning until 6 at night. The goal is to collect 10 tractor trailer loads to ship. But the state is still working out how to get it to the island. We've been dealing with some trucking companies that will truck it down to Florida and then obviously boat a, a plane over there. And we're talking to some people who might fly it right from here, right to there. But that obstacle will be overcome, says Plummer. And in the meantime, state employees are waiting. Please come down here. We have plenty of volunteers. We're waiting to take your donations, and uh, it'll certainly be appreciated. If everybody comes down just as a little tiny bit this morning, then it can make a huge difference for everybody. If you can't make it here to drop off a donation. There are other ways you can help. You just go to readynewhampshire.gov and that way you can make a monetary contribution. In Concord, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.